And looking ahead now at the rest of your Labor Day weekend. We still got two more days to go here. And was today Lake Day? Well, or tomorrow and Sunday Lake Days too. Well, weather wise, I would certainly argue that they definitely can be. And if that's in your uh, plan here, looking ahead to uh, Sunday, we're going to see high temperatures a little bit warmer tomorrow, but still with low levels of humidity. So we're not talking about, you know, discomfort, too much discomfort, I should say, in the warming temps just yet. 88 on our Sunday, then the heat starts to settle back in as we hit Labor Day, but still plenty of sunshine. And despite that 92, still pretty low levels of humidity. Water temps also looking good if you want to get in for a, a quick dip there too so uh, tough to do much better than this on Labor Day weekend especially when you consider last Labor Day weekend if you remember that we had uh, quite a bit of rain led to some flooding in parts of the area nothing of the sort for the rest of this weekend courtesy of high pressure still parked right over parts of Virginia and North Carolina now this is going to slowly start to settle away from us uh, into the Atlantic Ocean over the next few days so where for the last couple of days including today we've benefited from the clockwise flow bringing in more of an easterly wind and kind of those cooler milder uh, uh, drier I should say uh, conditions as that begins to slide east of us here we're going to kick into more of a south to southwest wind flow and that's where the heat and to some extent the humidity Humidity will start to build as we set our sights on the week to come. Speaking specifically to the heat, here's what's ahead of us here and uh, uh, summer proving it still has plenty left in the tank in this uh, upcoming first full week of September. We'll see a high up to about 88 for tomorrow, so just a touch above average for the upstate. Average high is about 86, so 88, nothing too bad there. It's when we hit Labor Day and then especially Tuesday through Thursday. That's going to be the peak of it here. Back to some highs in the mid 90s. Not oppressive levels of humidity to go along with that, but a notable increase. So we'll probably talk about some heat indices those days getting toward the upper 90s and then slowly settling back to some low 90s and upper 80s as we start to eye next weekend. Looking specifically at the humidity here, as we mentioned, there will be a subtle increase, but you know, subtle is the key takeaway here, at least through Labor Day anyway. We're going to mostly keep those areas, whether it's the mountains in the blue line uh, or the upstate in that yellow line there. We're going to keep those dew points in the pleasant range. It's not till we hit about Tuesday where we see a brief spike here, maybe getting some of that into more humid territory, but uh, it is certainly not the uh, most extreme uh, bout of heat uh, that we have seen this uh, summer. As for your future track here, looking at the overnight period, that's continuing to look great. Keep the windows open for now while you still can, because it will be another cool, refreshing night here. Mostly clear skies, uh, just some patchy fog settling into those mountain valleys first thing tomorrow morning. But if you head out the door first thing, odds are you're going to run into sunshine and you'll be seeing it all day long. So if it's out on the lake again for tomorrow, getting out for just some fresh air activities, firing up the grill tomorrow afternoon into dinner time around six o'clock tomorrow evening. I mean, tough to do much better uh, than this weather wise. We're uh, definitely sitting pretty here going into tomorrow night. Skies will clear out again. We'll see one more round of comfortably cool conditions and that'll take us into Labor Day, which continues to feature those mostly sunny skies. But again, we'll start to see a little bit of an increase in the heat for tonight, though. 56 in the mountains, mostly clear, some patchy fog by daybreak and a beautiful night upstate 62 year overnight low temp, cool and comfortable, low humidity. Love it, love it, love it, and uh, looking good here as we look at the rest of your seven day forecast. 88 for tomorrow upstate, more sunshine, a sunny 92 on Labor Day, those mid 90s that we talked about Tuesday through Thursday, and it's by the end of the week when some isolated storms will return to the forecast. For the mountains, also looking at plentiful sunshine tomorrow through Wednesday. Labor Day will get a high up to about 89, and then a couple days in the 90s on Tuesday and Wednesday.